Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my channel I am Rofia Seen and in the previous video we have performed delete operation if I double click on this one and click on this one it is directly deleted from the database so before deletion we should ask for confirmation from the end user so in this video we will use dialog result to achieve this requirement and I'll show you how to use dialog result to ask uh, from users directly uh, rather than directly deleting uh, record from database and we'll do same for update okay so if you start uh, if you click on this one so this is the delete code let me cut it from here using control x so I'm checking if this dot is updated or is update it means that we are checking for uh, this form is reloaded for update so before directly deletion I'll use dialog result equals to equals to and then I'll specify the message box dot show and I'll ask for confirmation are you sure you want to delete this role let me okay question mark and I'll uh, confirmation as in caption and then message box buttons dot yes no because we want to uh, allow user to click a yes for performing delete operation and no for cancel okay and after this I can also specify the message box icon dot question and then I will check if result double equals to dialog result dot yes then go ahead and delete record from database and I'll paste it over here the code which I have uh, cut it from here paste it again and this is the code which is deleting record and if user click on yes the record will be deleted from the database and if user click on no nothing will be happened click on this one start double click and click on delete look at this instead of directly de deleting record from a database it is asking to me are you sure you want to delete this role if I click on no no role is deleted look at this we have power user but if I double click on this one click on delete and are you sure you want to delete this role click on yes look at this role is successfully deleted from the system click ok and you can verify that our role is successfully deleted I can do same uh, with the update process if you wanna you can do with the insert pro process uh, as well so I don't wanna waste your time uh, the code is same you can use for both insert update delete process thank you so much for watching I'll meet again with the new video we have successfully performed all of our required operation to the roles start application and make sure look at this our view operation is working our search operation is working I can create new roles I can update roles I can delete roles and this is all about CRUD operations with an extra functionality of uh, confirmation box and search so our role module is completed now in the next video I'll start uh, my users module so that I can uh, create new users into the database and I'll discuss how to display this role into user form uh, as a drop down thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next video take care of yourself Allah Hafiz Assalamu Alaikum